Hey guys, a real common question I get is which rangefinder do I use? I've been using a Leica 1600 beads, the Rangemaster model, for the past three years now. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. Okay, it comes in this little nylon case with a snap buckle on it. I just keep it in there to keep the lenses protected. Uh, you can see it's very small. It's a tiny rangefinder. I don't know all the specs on it. What I'll do is I'll, I'll post them up at the end to let you know how much it weighs and all that kind of stuff. But just take it from me, this thing is very light, it's very small, it's truly a pocket rangefinder. Okay, the 1600B, the B designation means that this has a built-in ballistic program. I don't use that at all, I prefer just to get raw environmental conditions and enter them into a, a dedicated ballistic computer rather than a one-size-fits-all type ballistic program that's in the, the laser rangefinder. What I do use is the front button, this little front button here will give you your angle to the target it'll give you your ambient air temperature and it'll give you your station pressure so if you're not using something like a Kestrel you can use this right here to give you your station pressure and your temperature and with the added bonus of giving you an angle to target. Uh, it's rated for 1600 yards it'll go past that we've gotten ranges on animals out to 1900 plus I'm not even sure that there's a 2 inside the display to go over 2000 yards so uh, any hunting situation where you can read conditions and actually take a shot at an animal, this rangefinder will do it for you. Uh, you know, if you want to go better than this as far as tight beam, meaning uh, the beam on this is only a half mil high, uh, most rangefinders on the market are going to be one and a half to two mils high. So what that translates to is that a thousand yards, when I range something on the other side of the canyon, that beam is going to be covering an 18 inch tall uh, swath of whatever I'm trying to range out there. Uh, by comparison, if it's a 2 mil beam, you know, you're looking at 72 inches, so it's a 6 foot beam. So if you're on a slope, you know, it could easily be below whatever you're trying to get, or even worse, if you're on flat ground, uh, <laughs> you can be, you know, 200 yards in front of an antelope that you're trying to shoot, and you think you're getting the right range to it, and you end up, you know, plunging into the dirt before you get there. That's one of the best things about this rangefinder, very small, tight beam. Uh, I'll post those specs up as well at the end of the video. If you want to get better than that, you have to go with something like a Vectronix. Uh, there are some new range finders coming on the market right now. It's very exciting time to be in the long range shooting sports. Uh, you know, when some of those come out that I think might be a suitable replacement for it, I'll look for them. But right now, what I recommend is this Leica 1600. Okay, here it goes. I'm going to go ahead and hit range on that bush on a skitter trail. 1,247 yards. You can see that. That skitter trail is just dirt and that's just a bush. Uh, it faces due west so it has direct sunlight on it right now. It uh, picks it right up. I'll go ahead and do the environmental button on the front now. This will give us our angle, this uh, temperature, and our station pressure. And that's it. Okay, usually when I take a range on something, uh, I can get steady enough by laying down next to the gun. So I'm already in position. I know my angle is going to be right because I'm looking right at the target from where I'm going to be shooting from. And I just hold it, hand hold it like this, and steady everything up, put the beam on the target, and hit it. So we have 699 yards. I need to know the angle because this one's pretty steep. Minus 13 degrees. And that's all there is to it. Okay, for like extreme long range shooting where you want to use it on a tripod, you can buy this uh, bracket mount that goes onto a tripod. I don't remember who makes it. I bought it off of Optics Planet, I think. But the 1600 just slides in. It's got a little thumb screw to put a little tension on the side of the body. I have mine set up to go on the cam cradle. And I just have it sliding in like that. So now it's on a tripod and it's perfectly steady. And with the like RLC cam cradle, I can line up everything on the target, hit my range, turn my video camera on, and spot the shot through the spotting scope. But uh, you know, most of the time I get by just hand holding the rangefinder. It's got such a small beam that there's no way that you don't know that the beam is on the target as a small aiming uh, square, I guess. It's not really a circle, but uh, it's very easy to hold it, especially if you're down behind the gun and you're prone and you just steady yourself and hit the button. But in case you want to do ELR stuff and you want to make sure, this is a pretty good way to do it. 